All right, so this is gonna be the galvanic corrosion test with MagnaCut. And so far the tier list that I have is H1 and titanium are tied. Eventually I'll, I'll put these both against each other and just leave it uh, in a container for like an eternity until something happens. But neither, neither rusted when I tried them against each other. So it goes H1, titanium, Vanex, and that's basically Vanex is at the at the bottom point right now. Um, so these pieces are all all these are the thicker pieces are Magna Cut. So they're using Magna Cut for the new Salt series for Spider Co, which got me interested in the, in in also including Magna Cut in this kind of test. And um, just a brief brief explanation of what what a uh, Galvanic corrosion is. So, galvanic corrosion is if you put two two pieces of, of materials that are are both conductive, the one that is more corrosion resistant will cause the other to corrode faster. So, I use this as an example before, but um, uh, aluminum and uh, carbon fiber. Carbon fiber will make aluminum corrode, even though by itself it won't. So, um. What I'm going to do is, this is going to go with H1. I've already sanded all these down on both sides. I'm, I only care about, oh, and my hands are dirty from, from sanding. So I only care about uh, the faces of it. I don't care about the sides. So I'm only going to be looking at the, the side, the faces of uh, these pieces to see um, if they're corroded or not. So one's going to go with H1. One is going to be by itself. One is going to go uh, with Vanex, and then one is going to go with Titanium. And then we'll see what happens with all these. I'm going to put them all in separate containers and see what causes what to corrode. I'm going to see, I'm going to be watching um, and see what Magna, do, Magna Cut does by itself, see how long it takes for it to corrode by itself, or if it even does. And um, these pieces are like crazy similar, but the way to check that I check is to make sure this is Vanex is Vanex is still um, magnetic, even though it's like stainless in a sense. It's just because it doesn't use chromium. But all right, so I have to basically clean all this with alcohol. And after I clean it, I'm gonna put it all together in rubber bands. And then after I do that, I'll, I'll mix the salt and um, put it in each container. So I'm not gonna show the cleaning part just because I don't I don't think it's necessary. I will show me mixing the, the salt for each each batch, each each container, and um, and then I'll just go from there. I'm gonna wait a week to see what happens too. For anybody who, who's not familiar with these videos, okay. All right, so I cleaned them all up, and I used gloves when I, while I was cleaning them. So the red one is Vanex. They're all together. The I guess natural color one is um, titanium. And then it's by itself, and of course, H1. So I'm gonna put these in these containers. And like before and like the other videos, I'm gonna do 30 milliliters of salt to 700 milliliters of water. And I'll start in a second. Okay, so let's start. I'm gonna put these in here. I'll try to center them afterwards. And this guy goes in the bin. All right. I'll do the bin one first. And so this is 4.2% salt and it never really dissolves completely for whatever reason. So I'm gonna need three of these for this bin. You see some residue there? Salt residue. So this is gonna be an approximation basically. Oh. 
So one more for this guy. Okay, last one for that. And these should only take about one, I think. All right, so completely submerged. And like I said, uh, the only thing that matters is basically the surfaces. Not the edges of these of these pieces of steel. All right, so now we're gonna do these. I don't know why, but I didn't feel confident pouring with my left. All right, so this is not gonna dissolve completely. But let me try to mix this a little bit longer than the other ones. Oh, that's just a stain. <laughs> it looked like a pile. All right. Okay. Actually, now that I have some left, I'm gonna do one more thing. Okay, the last one is, I'm gonna do is basically Vanex and titanium, but I wanna see if, not touching, I wanna see if um, one will cause the other to rust. Basically, will titanium cause Vanex to rust if they're just in a close proximity? I wanna add titanium to, to one of the handles, one of the G10 handles of my knife, a one knife, just because it tends to wear at a corner, just the way I basically use it. And um, I was thinking of adding titanium on uh, on the corner so it wouldn't wear out the G10 since it is wearing out the G10. But I don't know if I can do that and still keep it uh, rust free. So that's, okay, so this is titanium and I, I, I um, sanded both pieces and I also cleaned them with alcohol. So. Titanium Vanex at just at, at a proximity. It's like a quarter inch, I guess. This is MagnaCut by itself. This is Vanex and MagnaCut. And then Titanium and MagnaCut. Hope I got that right. And of course, H1 and MagnaCut. So today is... Today's Sunday, April the 3rd. 
So after a week, after a week, I'll come back again and show you. I'll keep an eye on this like per day. And um, if any of these start showing rust, I'll, I'll do one more. Um, and this is like crazy, crazy. If I see something crazy, I'll, I'll, I'll show you. But I'll, I'll do it per day and check it out. If there is something crazy, I'll put, I'll put like just a brief video on it and that's it. All right, but if you have any questions, let me know. All right, bye.